Domestic violence may not immediately seem like an area of liability for Canadian employees, but it is. Most provinces have legislation in place that dictates a duty to protect workers from violence. This includes domestic violence, says Barbara McQuarrie, the community director at Western University's Centre for Research and Education on Violence Against Women and Children. You have an obligation to take every precaution reasonable in the circumstances to prevent um, injuries and accidents and again in Ontario specifically to uh, prevent injury as a result of domestic violence. So if you can't show that you've taken every precaution reasonable then you have liability there. Organizations need to be aware of their employees wellness because there are many implications for business. Barbara says this includes reduced productivity, reduced employee morale and the general safety of all workers. But there are warning signs employers and HR can look out for. So some typical warning signs might be an employee who's um, had a very solid performance and now they're distracted, they're making errors and, and there's no obvious reason why in terms of what's happening in the workplace. Could be somebody who's showing up for work late a lot or missing work quite often. It could be an employee who's receiving a lot of harassing telephone calls. It could be somebody who is wearing inappropriate clothing for the, se the season, so they might be trying to hide injuries by wearing turtlenecks in the summer or dark glasses. Um, it could be somebody who's um, very isolated and, and obviously just you know, having some emotional um, distress. Those are all warning signs. HR can use those observations to start a conversation with the worker. You've been a good worker and I've noticed you're distracted lately or I notice you're coming in, in late. and. Um, you had that bruise the other day or you know you seem to be upset after those phone calls so you talk about exactly what you see you talk about why you're worried um, and you talk about the, the fact that there aren't reprisals for disclosing domestic violence it's about not judging it's about not pressuring somebody to leave certainly that's that's not the role of, of the workplace Barbara also recommends using community-based resources to help with any domestic violence cases. So every community in Ontario um, has several domestic violence experts. The most obvious ones are women's shelters and police services. Um, some communities will have counseling services or specialized advocacy agencies as well. Um, so it's really important that we don't not do anything because this isn't our expertise and because we don't know what to do. Um, it's a phone call away to talk to a shelter worker, to invite a shelter worker into your, your workplace. Um, even, even the police can help with um, safety planning, they can help with risk assessment. So it's just, as employers, there's no need to feel alone or isolated or burdened by these responsibilities. There are many community partners who are more than willing to assist.